Hi everyone. In this video, we'll discuss how to add two numbers which are represented as linked list. So we are given two linked list which are representing two non-negative numbers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of the node contains a single digit. We have to add the numbers and return the sum as a linked list. Let's take an example. So let's say these are the two linked lists that we are given. So this is list one and this is list two. So the digits are stored in reverse order. So which means this number is 521 and this number is 278. So if we add these two numbers, we'll get 799. So the output should be 997. Let's take one more example. So now the numbers we are given are 43 and 387. So if we add these two numbers, we'll get 430. So the output in this case will be 034. Let's take one more example. So now the numbers are 822 and 493. So in this case, the sum will be 1315. So the link list will be 5131. So we'll be given two link list which are representing a number stored in reverse order. Each node will contain a single digit. We have to add the numbers and return the sum as a link list. Now let's see how we can solve this. So let's take this example where we are given these two link list. This is head one and this is list two. So head two is pointing to three and head one is pointing to two. So the first link list represents the number seven four two and the second link list represents the number nine four nine three. If we add this, it becomes five three two zero one. So one observation which we can see here is if we start our traversal from head of both of the linked list, so 2 and 3 we have here. So if the sum of the digits that is less than 10, then we can simply create a new node with the value sum. So in this case, 3 plus 2 is less than 10. So we create a new node with value 5 like we have done here because each node of the output should also have a single digit. So if the sum is less than 10, we can simply create a new node. But if the sum is greater than or equal to 10, then comes the concept of carry. So like we see here, if the digits are 4 plus 9. So 4 plus 9 becomes 13. So since a node can have only single digit, so 3 will be used here and one will be carry forwarded to the next node sum. So to compute the carry, we can divide sum by 10 and then we can create a new node with value of the remainder. So remainder we can obtain by sum mod 10. So in this case, when the sum is 13, carry will be 13 by 10, which is one, and the remainder which will be of the new node this will be 13 modulo 10, which is the remainder. So it becomes three. So here we create the node with value three and we carry forward one to the next sum. So now when we come to the next nodes, we have seven plus four. So seven plus four becomes 11 and we have carry forward of one. So 11 plus one becomes 12. 12 is again greater than 10. So the new carry will be 12 by 10, which becomes 1. And the node which will be create will be the remainder, which is 12 modulo 10, which is 2. So the addition is elementary mathematics, which all of us know. So here only point to take care is that we have to connect all the nodes which we create. So to connect all the nodes, we, we can use previous pointer. And whenever we create any new node, we'll connect previous node to the new node that we create. So this is the whole logic by which we can add two numbers. Now let's have a look at the pseudocode.
So like we have done in many linked list question, so we'll create a dummy node which will act as the start of our new linked list. So we create the concept for this dummy node so as to avoid the cases when the linked list is empty. So we initialize the new linked list with the dummy node and at the end we'll return next of dummy. So then we create a previous node which points to dummy. So whenever we create any node, we'll connect previous node to that node so that the linked list chain can be formed. So to add the two linked list, we have to iterate them. So while head one is not equal to null or head two is not equal to null, we'll go inside the while loop. So head one is pointing to two and head two is pointing to three. Then we take two variables, digit one and digit two. So digit one will correspond to the digit in the linked list one and digit two will correspond to the digit in the linked list two. So initially both of them are initialized as zero. Then we check if head one is not equal to null. So head one is pointing to two will come inside and we initialize digit one with head one well. So digit one will have the value two and then we move head one to the next node. So now head one will come at four. Similarly, we check for head two. So head two is pointing to three. So digit two will have the value three. And now head two will come to the next node. So head two will come at nine. So now we have both the digits. We compute their sum. So sum will be digit one plus digit two plus carry. So let's take a variable carry. So initially carry will be zero. So digit one is two digit two is three and carry is zero. So the sum becomes five. So now we compute carry. So to compute carry, what we can do is we can divide the sum by 10. So if the sum is greater than 10, we'll obtain the carry. If the sum is less than 10, then the carry will be zero. So in this case, if we divide five by 10, we'll get zero. So carry for the next addition of nodes will be zero. In the next step, we create a new list node of value sum modulo 10. So sum is five. So five modulo 10. So the remainder we get is five. So we create a new node with value five and we make it next of previous node. So previous node was pointing to dummy. So next of previous node will become five. So we are making the link from dummy to five and then we move previous node to the next node. So now previous node will come to five. So now we come to the next iteration in the while loop. So in the next step, we initialize digit one and digit two both by zero. We check if head one is not equal to null. So head one is pointing to four. So digit one will be four. And then we move head one to the next node. So head one will come at seven. Then we check for head two. So head two is pointing to nine. So digit two will have the value nine. And then head two will come at next of nine, which is four. Then we compute the sum. So sum is digit one, which is four, digit two, which is nine and carry, which is zero. So sum becomes 13. In the next step, we compute carry. So carry is 13 by 10, which is 1. So for the next addition, we have obtained a carry of 1. In the next step, we create a new list node with the value sum modulo 10. So sum is 13, 13 modulo 10 is 3. So we create a new node with value 3 and we connect it to the previous node. So previous node is pointing to five. So next of five becomes three. And then we move previous node to the next node. So now previous node will come to three. So with the usage of this previous node, we are connecting nodes of the linked list. So now the next iteration of while loop, we initialize digit one and digit two by zero. We check if head one is not equal to null. So head one is pointing to seven. So digit one becomes seven. And now head one comes to null. 
because 7 is the last node so next of 7 is null then we check for head 2 so head 2 is pointing to 4 so digit 2 becomes 4 and then we move head 2 to the next node which is 9 then we compute sum so sum becomes digit 1 which is 7 digit 2 which is 4 and the previous carry was 1 so this becomes 12 so the sum is 12 and now we compute the carry so carry becomes sum by 10 so 12 by 10 becomes 1 so now we again have a carry of 1 for the next sum so now we create a new linked list node with the value sum mod 10 so sum is 12 12 mod 10 becomes 2 so we create a node with value 2 and we connect previous node to this node so previous node was pointing to 3 so next of 3 becomes 2 and then we move previous node to this new node which is 2 in the next iteration we check head 1 is not equal to null so head 1 is null but head 2 is not equal to null because head 2 still has one node so we come inside and we initialize digit 1 and digit 2 both by 0 we check if head 1 is not equal to null so head 1 is null so this if condition is not true we come to the next if statement now we check if head 2 is not equal to null so head 2 is pointing to 9 so digit 2 becomes 9 and then we move head 2 to the next node so next of 9 is null because 9 is the last node in the next step we compute the sum so sum is digit 1 which is 0 digit 2 which is 9 and carry which is 1 so sum becomes 10 now we compute the carry so carry is sum by 10 so it becomes 10 by 10 which is 1 in the next step we create a new node with the value sum mod 10 so sum is 10 modulo 10 so 10 modulo 10 is 0 so we create a new node with the value 0 and we connect previous node with this new node so 2 is connected to 0 and in the next step we move previous node to the next node so previous node will now come to 0 in the next step we check this while condition so now head 1 is also equal to null and head 2 is also equal to null so now this while condition is false so this while loop terminates because we have traversed both the linked list fully so after this while loop ends we check if there is any remaining carry so carry was 1 in the last addition that we did so now we have to create a new node with this value carry so carry is 1 so we create a new node with value 1 which is carry and we connect previous node to this node so we are creating the link from 0 to 1 so now the addition of the two link list is complete so to return the value we can return dummy next so dummy next will point to the first node of the link list so the output that will return is 5 3 2 0 1 so this link list is the result of addition of the two link lists that we were given so the only tricky part here is this carry computation and the last if statement after the while loop ends that if there is any remaining carry we need to create a new node so here you can see that we initialize this previous node with dummy node so the advantage of doing that was that we do not have to write any edge cases for these two statements because if previous node was initialized as null then you cannot do here previous node next because previous node is null then you would have to write some if cases that if previous node is null then do this else do that so to avoid those edge scenarios around null link list we use the concept of this dummy node so the usage of this dummy node makes the code a lot cleaner so if we talk about the time complexity here the time complexity is n1 plus n2 where n1 and n2 is the number of nodes of the linked list so once we have understood 
the algorithm let's have a look at the implementation so all the source code that i will be showing is available on my github repository link of which is present here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i've created both of these link list so the first link list is 247 and the second link list is 3949 so these represents the numbers 742 and 9493 i pass both of these heads to the function add two numbers so this function will add these two numbers and return the head of the new link list in this function add two numbers i first create a dummy node i initialize previous node with dummy and then i traverse both the link list so until both the link list have been traversed fully i run this while loop i check if head one is not equal to null so digit one will have the head one value and i move head one to the next node similarly i check if head two is not equal to null digit two will have the head two value and head and i move head two to the next node then i compute the sum so sum is digit one plus digit two plus carry and carry is sum by 10. then i create a new node with the value sum modulo 10 so this is the remainder i connect previous node to this newly created node and then i move previous node to the next node so after both the linked lists are traversed fully i check if there is any remaining carry if there is a remaining carry i create a new node of value carry and i connect the previous node so after this if statement i have done the addition of both the numbers so i save the next of dummy so which will be the head of the link list and i delete the dummy node to save the memory so the head of the newly link list will be stored in this result variable then i print the result by calling this print list function let's see the output of this code so first link list is 247 second is 3949 and the number after addition is 53201 so this problem is also available on lead code as question number two add two numbers i've pasted the same code here and it is success so in this problem we understood that how we can add two numbers which are represented as linked list and the digits are stored in reverse order now there is a variation of this question in which the digits are not stored in reverse order so in the next video we'll see how we can solve that so that was all for this video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.